Good afternoon, Verblingites, or good evening, good uh, good morning, good night, whatever time it is in your time zone. Today, in this class, we are going to discuss the Olympic Games. Um, I look forward to working with each and every one of you who come. And um, my name is Holly, and I will be the teacher this hour. Um, I I can be found if you're interested in. Uh, in my profile, my I can be found at the following URL. I thought I had it. It looks like I didn't. One moment. Um, so go ahead and and uh, press on the link and follow me, and uh, that you can know a little bit more about me. Uh, anyway, today's lesson is on the Olympic Games. Uh, got the material from Lingua House. It's a photocopyable material, so I just went ahead and, and copied and pasted it onto a really nice PowerPoint. So um, what we'll do is we'll start out by talking about the Olympics. Um, we'll go through an um, article on the Olympic Games. Then we will systematically talk about the vocabulary and different uh, sports. Uh, then we will um, continue doing that and then kind of have kind of a, a quiz. It should be fun. And then we'll discuss uh, the Olympics. So it, sh it should be a, a, good, a good hour for those of you who uh, choose to make this your class for this hour. So a little bit about me. Um, I am originally from Idaho, USA. And uh, I did not live here, though, for about 20 years because I lived in uh, South Korea and Finland. And I, I taught in Finland for 11 years, and I taught in South Korea for just under two years. Um, I've been teaching English since 1994 and um, online since 2006. Um, uh, for the last uh, three or four years, I've only been teaching part-time, just a few hours a week, and uh, just recently decided to go back into a more of a full-time role um, you know, where I'm teaching a lot of hours a week. And um, so it's been fun to get back into teaching so, so long, so much. Um, so I look forward to talking to whoever comes in. Again, the topic is on the Olympic Games and uh, we will go ahead and just systematically go through uh, go through some material and then end up with a, a, a structured discussion. That is the plan for today. Uh, today, where I'm at in Idaho, it is noon. So I assume in um, uh, your, most of Europe, it's about 8 or 9 p.m., depending on where you are in Europe, maybe 7. So, hi, Christina. How are you today? Uh, thank you. Well, thank you. And you? Very good, very good. Where are you from? I am from Colombia. Colombia, awesome. I spent four, <laughs> four days in Bogota um, five years ago, and I really liked it. Yes. Uh, really, yeah. wasn't there long enough, but I've always talked about going back. So what part of Colombia are you from? I am from Bogota. The, oh, you are from Bogota. Awesome. Yeah. That's where I was. I really liked it. So... <laughs> Yeah, I went there for a presentation with um, with a with a virtual classroom company, and it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you do in in Bogota? Uh, at this moment, I was working at um, as a tutor, uh -huh. virtual virtual tutor. I oh. I dictate um, classes by internet. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah. so you so you would say I am working as a tutor. So, what what topic? What is what subject do you tutor people on? Uh, I teach um, uh, systems uh, office the, the office um, package. Uh, for example, Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> 
Yeah. So do you um, do you get into a, a virtual class or a web conferencing solution, or how do you work, do it? Or do uh, you use Skype or? Um, no, I I am working um, with a with a company, uh, uh, an uh -huh. institution, uh, an uh, educative institution. Uh huh. And uh, uh, by 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 them, I I am uh, dictating these classes. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. And and morning, Bashak. How are you this morning or this afternoon? <laughs> <coughs> so, Bashak, what time did you wake up this morning? Are you there? Maybe her uh, microphone's not working. So, so, um, so, uh, so, Christina, are your students virtual, or are they um, in the same town in Bogota? Hello. Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I okay. do. Okay. Oh, okay. Because all of a sudden there was silence. I was like, oh no. So, Bashak, what time did you wake up today? Uh, I I wake up one hour ago. Okay. One hour. Okay. Um, uh, the reason I ask because Bashak was up at, with me in a in a Google Hangouts about three in the morning last night. So, um, so hello, Antonio. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Very good. Very good. So, where are you from, Antonio? I'm from Spain. Spain. Awesome. Okay. And and then Christina is from uh, Colombia, and Bashak is from Turkey. And um, so, and I'm sure we'll have. Hopefully, we'll have a few more people come in today. So, um, it's nice to meet you. Are you guys, Are you new to Verbling, or have you been taking a lot of classes at Verbling, Anto Antonio? No, I have been in Verbling for one year. Ah, awesome! More, more than awesome. one year. Okay. I start the the last year. Um, I think in the month of. July or June, July. I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. And as you know, I am new. Um, I started probably about um, about a week ago. Uh, a week ago on no, two weeks ago. <laughs> two almost almost fourteen days. So um, so you so you've been around a lot. Uh, awesome and it's nice to meet you. Just to tell you a little bit about me. Um, I am actually from Idaho in the USA, and I spent a few years uh, teaching in South Korea, and I, I spent a decade, um, about 11 years, teaching in Finland, and I started teaching online in 2006, and about 2010, 10, 2011, I started, uh, I kind of uh, stopped teaching as much, and a few months ago, I decided I would I, I wanted to teach online more. So I'm um, uh, working on uh, teaching online a lot more than I was. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, uh, when uh, when was the last Olympics? Do you guys remember what was the last Olympics that you guys watched? I couldn't remember. You can't remember? Okay. Bashak, do you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember either. <laughs> Christina? We are not very keen on of, of sports. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> hey, Christina, do, do you remember the last Olympics you watched? Okay, so, so maybe she's having trouble with her microphone. Um, uh, anyway, okay, so the Olympic Games. Um, so what we're going to do is just systematically go through this. If I remember right, um, we had uh, Olympic Games. There was London 2012. 
or the Summer Olympics, but I, I do not recall where the, Olymp the Winter Olympics were at all. So we should be having, so, and, and should be again in 2016, I guess. So, um, all right, well, let's go ahead and, and go through this. And as you know, it doesn't really matter the topic as long as you get to practice and study English. So, um, even though the topics, if you're interested in it, it makes it more fun. Okay, it says, read the text about the Olympic Games and complete the definitions below with the words in bold. Okay, so what we're going to do is systematically read through this, and I will I will listen for pronunciation and and so forth. The first thing I will do is I will read it first, so you guys will have a chance to just um, look at the the look at the words and and learn what it's saying. After that, we will read. You guys will each read a paragraph, and then we will look at pronunciation. Okay. The Olympic Games were first held in Greece between 17, 776 BC and 393 AD. They were a series of competitions among different city-states and considered the um, consisted of athletic events uh, such as running and jumping, as well as combat events such as boxing and wrestling. The games were a time of goodwill. All conflicts between the participating city-states were postponed until the competition was finished. The modern Olympic Games bag began in Athens in 1896. Fourteen nations and 241 athletes competed in 43 events. Today there are about 300 events and over 205 participating countries. Almost every sport is included, in, including aquatic events such as swimming. The games are regulated by the International Olympic Committee and are hosted every four years by a different nation. Um, no Olympics were held in 1916, 1940, and 1944 because of war. As the games became more popular, the Olympic Committee made some important changes. In 1921, they decided to hold a winter version of the games. The Winter Olympics officially began in 1924 in France. In 1960, Rome hosted the first official Paralympic Games, a multi-sport event which allows athletes with physical disabilities to compete. This started as a small a sporting event among British World War, War II veterans in 1948. In 2010, Singapore hosted the first Youth Olympic Games, which allowed athletes between the ages of 4 and 18 to compete. Okay, first of all, before you guys read, do you have any, do, are there any words or phrases that you are unfamiliar with? They aren't. It's fine? Yes. Okay. Bashak? Um, the games were a time of goodwill. Okay. A, a time of goodwill is, is kind of a time of peace. What they what they do is they, if they uh, don't get along, if the countries are not um, are fighting, they stop that for um, for a time so that everyone can have um, have a good time and not worry about political conflicts. Okay, and veterans. Veterans. Veterans are people who served in the military. Okay. Um, okay any, anything else? Anything else? Okay. So um, what I want you guys to do is each um, each read. Let, why don't you each read two sentences, and then we'll move to the next person. Okay, Bashak, why don't you start? Okay. The Olympic Games were first held in Greece between 776 BC and 393 AD. They were a series of competitions among different states and consisted of athletic events such as running and jumping. Okay. Um, it's a, can you continue? <clears throat> as well as combat, 
events such as boxing and wrestling, the games were a time of goodwill. All conflicts between the participants participating states were postponed until the competition was finished. All right, thank you very much. Um, and uh, Antonio, can you read the next paragraph? Okay. Apparently it's two sentences each, so. <laughs> okay. The modern Olympic Games began in Athens in 1896. 40 nations and 241 athletes competed in 43 events. Today, there are about 300 events and over 205 participants countries. Almost every sport is included, including aquatic events, such as swimming. The games are regulated by the International Olympic Committee and are hosted every four years by a different nation. No Olympics were held in 1916, um, 1940, and 1944 because of war. All right, thank you. Anake, thank you for coming. Can you read the next paragraph? Okay, thank you. Uh, as the games become more popular, the Olympic Committee made some important changes. In 1921, they decided to hold a winter version of the Games. The Winter Olympics officially began in 1924 in France. In 1960, Rome hosted the first official uh, Paralympic Games, a multi-sport event which allows athletes with physical disabilities to compete. This started as a small sporting event among British World War II veterans in 1948. In 2010, uh, Singapore uh, hosted the first Youth Olympic Games, which allowed athletes between the age of 14 and 18 to compete. Okay, so between the ages, ages uh, between the ages. Okay. All right. Now let's. I'm going to give some real quick feedback um, on the reading. One thing when it comes to um, y uh, dates, um, this the dates where it's uh, uh, you know a long time ago right here. We, what we we don't actually say hundred here, so we would say 776 BC and 393 AD. So we don't actually have to say hundreds there. Um, it would just like we would say 1896. So here it's 776, 393. Okay. 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 And then and also here also you can um, you can say 241 athletes, uh, but you can also also say 241, um, 300 events, um, two, 205, 205. This one you would actually say 100, but sometimes. Um, when you guys are listening to native speakers, you might hear them not actually use the word hundred. Two forty-one. How many? How many athletes are there? Two forty-one. How many events? Three hundred. Three hundred, of course. Two hundred and five. Two oh five. So that's just um, an interesting thing. Um, can you go ahead and say this, Antonio? This word right here. Uh, Seven seventy-six. This one right here. Uh, yeah, I can uh, participate in. Participate. Okay. Yeah, when you read it, you kind of fumbled on it, but I didn't think it was a big deal. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, Antonio uh, Bashak, do you guys have any questions about any of these words? Anything in this? Um, Only uh, I think Bashak said uh, before goodwill. Uh huh. Time of goodwill. The games were a time of goodwill. Yeah, that's basically that's where all conflicts uh, between the participating city states are postponed until the competition is finished. So okay. if if there's two countries like right now, um, Russia and the Ukraine, are yes. there's problems between those two countries. 
for the Olympics, they'll forget about their problems. They'll go to the Olympics, they will compete, and forget about the, the problems. Ah, okay, thank you. You're welcome. So that's really what it is. Um, so that, that means uh, originally it's for ceasefire. Yes, basically okay. ceasefire. Let's let's have a time of peace so we can so we can just um, have fun with athletes. Let's forget about politics. So mm -hmm. one of the goals of the Olympic Games is not to not have politics involved with this. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, let's go ahead and and um, look through the um, the right here. These are um, the definitions. And then we have, in black, are the words that we would put in here. And I'm just going to draw a line because it's easier. <laughs> so, um, go um, okay, could you read the first definition, number one, right here? Uh, sports events, which in include running, jumping, and throwing. What kind of events are they? Uh, I know it in Japanese. So. <laughs> <laughs> Three something. <laughs> Track yeah. and field. Well, it's it is track and field. There's another word also. Um, uh, track and field is the kind of the more modern modern word. Um, so this actually is called um, athletic events. Oh, I see. So, so the actual and the and that's actually where we get the word athlete. Do you guys oh. know what what an athlete means? Runner. No, it's actually a person involved in sport, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, it's, uh, the root is from running and jumping and, um, and so forth. So, uh, so that is the athletic events. So when you hear track and field, I, uh, the other, other uh, word you will hear is athletics. So... Okay, next one. Um, Antonio, can you read the next one? Sports events in which competitors fight each other. I think it's combat events. Perfect. It is combat events. My son is very keen on of wrestling. And what? Oh, wrestling. 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 How, old, yes. how old is he? Uh, Ten years old. Ah. Yeah. You spend the Saturday morning watching the fighters on TV. <laughs> the oh, really? Fighters. Ah. Uh, John Cena and the Undertaker. <laughs> uh huh. Does does uh, does I mean have you gotten into him into any type of wrestling um, competition or anything? No, I don't think the wrestling it's a competition in the Olympic Games. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, have you have you are there any local clubs um in Spain where you no. where, where he can go? Okay. And yeah. Many years many years ago it was very uh, popular, but today no. Today oh, okay. it's not very popular. Okay. Only only uh, we watch it on TV. Mhm. Mm I see, and there's in well in the states uh, a lot of uh, American football players um, <laughs> will also participate in wrestling in the spring. So in the in the fall or in the autumn they will do American football, and then in the spring they will do wrestling. And uh, and some of the guys who are short and are not are too small for um, for football might actually wrestling might be their uh, their sports. So, um, all right, um, Bashak, can you read the next one? Sports e events that take place in water. Yeah. What? Well, which one is that? Aquatic. Aquatic. Yeah. So. Aquatic events. Yeah. So aquatic is. In, oops. Let's go to three. Aquatic is anything to do with water. So. Um, do you guys enjoy watching the Olympics when you have the time? I like uh, opening and closing ceremonies show. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I do too. <laughs> Especially London Olympic, a lot of rock stars up here, so I enjoy. Okay. Yeah. I now I remember the Olymp the. Um, 
uh, the London one now. Uh, I, in the beginning, okay, when you weren't there, we were trying to figure out when the last one was. <laughs> <If Yeah>. we, <laughs> it's starting to come back for me. Okay. Um, what is, uh, okay, could you read the, ne the, the next one? Okay. Made to happen. I think held. Yes. Okay. Next one. Um, Antonio. And you just that make it difficult to do things that other people do. I think mm, 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 I saw physical disabilities, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People, people handicap or but in the test. Athletes with physical disabilities. Yeah. Do you in in English? Do you guys know what the Olympic Games are for people who have physical disabilities? Yes. Do you know the name? What we call it? The Paralympic Games. Okay. Yeah. All right. And next they, one. They are not only for British people, and uh, I think it's for for the world. I yeah. Think. It's around. It's for around the world, exactly. Um, the the next word, ex soldiers. What word is that, um, Bashak? Do you remember? Uh, veterans. Veterans, yeah. So, um, if you are a veteran, you are an ex soldier. Okay. Controlled. What word would go with controlled? Uh, regu regulated. Yes, regulated. So, um, if so, the the games are regulated by the IOC or the International Olympic Committee. Okay, friendly and cooperative feelings. Goodwill. Yes. Yeah. So, so you basically. Um, you put aside your conflicts for the time so that you can be participate in that. Goodwill can also be thought of as another word for goodwill. I'll, I'll type it in the chat. Is charity. So sometimes people will use goodwill for charity. In fact, in the states, there is a, a store called Goodwill, and people think they give it to chair give their to give their proceeds to charity, which they do a little bit. So, all right. Are there any words or phrases others that we need to go over? Okay. Your silence means we're fine, Holly. <laughs> so, okay. Now let's look at the events. So. Uh, can we look at, first of all, look at these pictures right here. What is happening here? Men is trying to swim in. Okay, so sh somebody is swimming. And what is happening here? Playing football. Playing football, yes. And then, of course, in American English, we would say playing soccer. Okay, and how about here? Any idea? Running. Running. And this one? Handball. Okay, handball, basketball. Um, yes. Or I think the di the discus as well. Uh, water polo. <laughs> of course, there has to be water than that one. So, uh, okay, this one. What is happening here? He's playing tennis. Tennis, yes. Tennis. Or or badminton. Okay, bear with me a moment. My it looks like my computer got unplugged, and they're telling me I need to plug it in. Bear with me. Okay. Um, okay. Um, all right. In this one right here, what is that? Rowing. Rowing. Yes, rowing, and it, also canoeing could be another one. Okay, let's look at these words right here. And um, we'll put the, the each um, each one of these uh, sporting events into the three different uh, categories. There's athletic events, combat events, aquatic events, or other. 
Okay. So um, let's let's talk about that. Antonio, what do you, can you choose a word and we'll put it we'll uh, put it in one of the um, categories. Athletic uh, athletic event. Uh, for example, uh, for example, hockey. Hockey. What is that? Athletic events. Um, actually, hockey would be an other. Because athletic events is ju running, jumping. Um, it's ah, usually oh, oh, you are yeah. alone. Okay, another. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for example, for an athletic event, the hundred meters. The hundred meters, perfect. Um, that would be correct. Okay. Okay, and uh, okay. What is another? Um, uh, judo. I think combat event. Yes. Has it? Have it, any of you guys ever done judo? judo? I, I don't like martial arts. <laughs> I never. Okay. I, I knew that. Knew that. I was very little in the class. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. All right, Bashak, can you choose one? The, the marathon. The marathon. Yes. Okay. Yes, the marathon is athletic. Exactly. Okay. Has anybody here ever run the marathon? No, it's very tired. Yeah. Has, it, has anybody here ever thought about it? I used to joke, but not a matter. Uh -huh, okay. I have I have a student. It was it was uh, I taught him for about four or five years. Of uh, uh, he was in the IT industry, and he. Uh, I hadn't seen him like for about five or six months, and he came in, and he was he was a shorter man, but he was always a little kind of overweight. I, he came in, and he was like thin. I, I was like, Monty, what happened to you? And he he said that he had just run his first marathon, and uh, that he when he started, he was so out of shape. He he walked for six months for two hours at a time. He would just walk. And then he started running a little and a, li a little and a little. And he ran his first marathon in Stockholm. And I was like, I was so impressed with him. <laughs> so so um, next one. Um, let's see. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, basketball, other. Other, yeah. So I think the team sports are basically weren't in the original uh, uh, Olympics, pretty much. So, um, do you guys remember when basketball came to the Olympics? No. No. Okay. It actually the first Olympics where there was a basketball was in 1984. It was the Los Angeles Olympics, and the United States um, dominated because they used their M NBA players. Mm -hmm. And but since then, the United States has not dominated because um, the other countries are using their NBA players. <laughs> so, so okay, um, uh, Antonio, can you choose? I think that in this is a bit cheat. <laughs> what? Because uh, we don't send to the football uh, competition professional players. <laughs> I know, and but for in, ba in basketball they do, and I'm not sure why, but because yeah, because the soccer, the f I think it's because of the World Cup, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Okay, we for, forget. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. <laughs> I think archery is an, an other uh, kind of sports. Which which team? Which? Uh, excuse me. Which which? Uh, 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 hockey, hockey, hockey. Uh, other, hockey. Yeah. Uh, other. I agree with you. Okay. Okay, thanks, Bashak. Have a good day. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. No worries. No worries. Okay, so hockey is another. Okay. And uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, diving, other. 
No. 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 Dive. Ah, ah, I saw the aquatic events. Yeah, so diving is part of the aquatics. Perfect. Events. Do have, are any? Do you guys? Do any of you guys go diving or swimming? I do like swimming. Uh huh. Okay. Mm. How about How about you, Antonio? Do you? I don't like very much swimming. Only uh -huh. in the summertime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on, on the in the in the sea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when I lived in Finland, I used to go winter swimming. Do you guys know what that is? Winter in the sea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> In the sea, in the sea, or in the swimming pool? In the in the lakes. <laughs> in the, oh. Have you seen that? I'm going to show you a quick a quick picture of this. They are and not it, very cold. Uh, it's very, in Finland. Yes. <laughs> very <laughs> cold. Finland. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, let me show you real quick. Um, Im images. Um. Oh. The the water is hot. After the, the sun bath, they, what? What? Uh, after they taking sun bath, they go outside to. Yeah, you go back outside. and forth. Uh -huh. About I three see. to five times. So so you the ideally you should start out. You go to the water first, and you're usually just in the water for uh -huh. just a couple seconds, not very long. So you go into the water first and then and then you go to the sauna and then you go back to the water and then you go to the sauna about th for three to five times and um, it's actually if you have a really stressful day it's actually quite relaxing mm. um, but uh, yes Antonio? And you could uh, catch a big coal no, it's actually very healthy. It's very healthy. Um, if you suffer from high blood pressure, it's probably not a f sport you should do. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually, I started, um, I became friends with a, a lady who could not speak English. And she was very Finnish, but she had never gone, uh, uh, gone winter swimming before. So uh, that, that was actually my Finnish practice for about a year. We would go swimming, uh, uh, winter swimming, and I would speak Finnish. <laughs> so it's how I learned. But yeah, but it's a, it's an, uh, it's a real fun sport, but it's, uh, you know, it, it takes perseverance. It takes, um, in, in Finland, they call, call it a Finnish sisu to do something like this. And, um, yeah, it's. I don't see any of the. I don't recognize any of the places I used to do it at. But anyway, um, so let's go on to another one. So diving is aquatic sports. Um, um, okay, can you choose another one? Okay, uh, cycling. Other. Cycling would be other. Yes. Okay. And Antonio. I think water polo. It's aquatic event, but mm -hmm. is um, playing by a team. Yeah. It's clear. It's aquatic. Yeah, it's. I think it's still aquatic. It, it, I think it was probably was not original. And when they added water polo as an Olympic event, it became one of the aquatic events. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. The wrestling uh, combat event. Combat, yes. Okay. And um, Antonio. And um, archery, I think it's over as well. Um, I, I and actually it's a combat event. It's combat. Yeah. But but you don't send the 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 arrow to the other people. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you only, only send the arrow to the the target. Mhm. Mm yeah, that, I mean, I'm thinking it's combat just because it, because you know the original idea for mm -hmm. archery is actually um, 
you know, hitting other people in the original, <laughs> the original idea. So, um, no, it's not. You're right. <laughs> it's, it's other. Okay, mm -hmm. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> So. The other people could practice the high jump and try to jump <laughs> when the arcade. True. <laughs> True. So, okay, next one. Fin uh, okay, can you choose one? Okay. Uh, the long jump, uh, athletic event. Yes, athletics for the, for the long run jump. Okay. And um, Antonio. Uh, weightlifting, I think, is athletic event as well. Okay, okay for this one, um, we actually do not pronounce the, these two words, okay? So it's actually weightlifting. Weightlifting. Yeah. Weightlifting. Yeah. And that would be, and you said it was, uh, it's actually other. And it's the same, kind of the same as, as, um, as archery, I and mean, I don't think it was a, originally a sport. I guess so, um, but but we don't. And when it, uh, athletic events are usually track and field, so it's running and jumping. So what? athletic events are usually track and field. Okay, um, how about rowing? Where would that be? Aquatic event. Yes. Even though, uh, uh, yeah, and because it has to do anything that has to do with water is aquatic. Okay, and see, um, Antonio. Fencing. I don't know what this word means. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Do you know fencing? Yes. Can you can you describe it to Antonio? Uh, kind of two person battle each other with a uh, sword. That's fencing. Two person bat each other? Yeah, uh, kind of fighting them? each other uh, with so sword. Yeah, S combat. Oh. Oops. Let's, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and um, we'll type in fencing and you can see. As soon as you see it, you'll go, oh yeah. It's a kind of fight. Yeah, <laughs> this is fencing. Ah, with the sword. With the sword. 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 Yeah. Sword and in the word the word uh, sword you do not pronounce the W. Sword. Sword. So it's kind of like um, in phonetics. I'm typing it on the on the on the chat. It's actually like sword. We don't say the say the W part of that. Sword. Sword. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And. Um, so fencing would be a combat sport, and it was probably one of the original ones. It's not as um, popular. Do you guys know people who have uh, participated in fencing? I have a cousin mm -hmm. who, who used to, to do this kind of sport. It's a bit strange. <laughs> But they they used to practice this this sport. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. They they used to practice the sport. Um, but uh, it's dangerous because uh, sometimes from sometimes the 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 sword lose the the the. The, the bar of the end, mm -hmm. and you could help the uh, each other. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so the sword loses the bar at the end, and you can hurt each other. Yeah, I I had a friend who participated it when she participated in, in fencing when she was in university, but I think it's it's very rare for people to do. So, yes. um, all right, um, okay, can you choose a sport? Okay, uh, the discuss sounds like other. No, no. But, uh, let me quickly uh, go to go back to Google Images for that. 
a discus throw. There's a lot of discus, so this is um, oh, this is a, so the, yeah. So it's a track and field event. So it's an athletic event. Okay. So all right. Have you have any of you guys ever thrown the discus? No, I no. never throw the discus. Oh, I did when I was twelve. <laughs> so. <laughs> I was part of the track and field team at, at high school, and I did probably all of it, and I was bad at all of it, So, but at least I tried. Um, mm. The final one, Antonio? The final? I I don't wear my... The high jump. The high jump, yes. The uh, high jump, I think, is an athletic event. Yes, and it's an, also an athletic, athletic event. Have you guys ever done the high jump or the long jump? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did in the gymnastic class. Ah, oh, okay, in school, yeah. In gymnastics class or? Um, uh, yeah, gymnastics phys- class. Mm-hmm. There was a gymnastics class or a physical education class? Uh, I think physical education. What, what is the difference? <laughs> Wait, let's go, let's go over that. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, uh, this is, when, I, when I type in gymnastics, you'll understand what I mean. Okay, this is gymnastics. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, yeah. Physical education class. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and why why you're uh, confused with it because um, uh, what uh, it's it's kind of understanding because a gymnasium is this, oh, yeah. right? And so uh, it's it's commonly confused by uh, by gymnastics and gymnasiums. So mm-hmm. you in your class, you're probably your class the class met in a gymnasium for part of the year. Mm-hmm. Right. So. So, so we would say physical education, or, or in short, PE in my PE class. Um, um, also, the other uh, word that uh, that people use, um, and maybe you've heard this before, is gym class. Gym class. Okay. Yeah, which gymnasium, gymnastics. Mm-hmm. So it totally makes sense. Okay. Let's go to the next paragraph, or next one. Okay, so study the descriptions below. Which events are they describing? Okay, so we'll go back and forth if we need to. Um, Who is the winner who jumps the highest? What, What event is that? High jump. Yes, the high jump, okay. Um. Antonio, can you read the next Computers one? fight each other with long thin sword. swords. Uh, swords. Swords. Uh, fencing. Yes. Fencing. Okay, could you read the next one? Okay. Computers try to throw each other to the ground. Mm-hmm. Throw each other to the ground. Judo. Mm-hmm. Each other's body to the ground. Mm-hmm. Any idea? So, Antonio, I think your son does I, this. I I think it's wrestling. Yeah. Because the judo, you do good. Um, Keep out, the, no, um, throwing the each other uh, outside the the short. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you have a, a half point or point or e point. It depends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe. So, but the main idea is to get them pinned to the ground, actually. So. So you want to pin pin the com- the competitor to the ground, correct? That's me. Uh, I'm writing it down to the ground. So pin the competitor to the ground. Um, uh, so to so p- to pin the co- competitor to the ground, do, don't you have have to be pushing the person down so they can't get up? Do you know? Oh uh, yeah, but uh, uh, 
also judo, or the word of judo, you kind of seo inage means throw the body to the ground. Oh, okay. So, so it is judo. It, it could be judo as well. Mm-hmm. And in fact, I just looked at the answers for this, <laughs> and the answer <laughs> is judo. But in wrestling, you do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So, okay. so, and I, I don't know much about judo. So, judo. Okay. All right, let's go to four, uh, number four. Antonio, can you read this one? Competitors try to throw a blade-shaped object as far as possible, I think, discus. Discus, okay. Discus. Okay, um, number five. The winner is the team that reaches the finish line first. The winner is the first team to reach the finish line. I'm not sure that was actually on the previous slide. The high jump. It's a team play, I guess. Yeah. Um. Okay, so it is it is a team sport. Let me let's look at it again. Okay, it's a team sport, but it can also be a a personal sport as too as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so look through through that and see if you can. Rowing? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it is. That, that's oh. exactly. So oh. the, the rowing it, c- it can be individual and or it can be team. Hmm. So that's that's the one that it was. But when I read that, I thought of um, a relay race. Do you guys know that which sport that um, is? Yes, I thought so. <laughs> it sounds like relay. Yeah. Yeah. Antonio, do you know that sport, a relay race? Relay? No, I don't know. This word. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Can you explain to him what that yeah. is? It's a kind of a uh, running, uh, and you can uh, the runner has a button, and that button pass pass over to the next runner. In the kind of team uh-huh. running uh, sport. Yeah. So okay. what? Yeah, and what yes, did, I know. And so they have it. It's a what did you say? You called it a bu- button. So, but it's called a actually pro- co- pronounced a baton. A baton, yeah, baton. Baton. So excellent. Have you guys ever run a relay race? Yes. Did you? And did you, Antonio, in school? No, no. I never do this sport. Oh, okay. Sport. I yeah. think in this in this question it could be another answer uh, cycling for example in the Olympic Games there uh-huh. are um, rely racing cycling is there really oh, I, I think I think so oh, there's I, or teams but team cycling team cycling um, I think in road sac- cycling is the same the, the, the they run uh, with a team they not run alone the the cyclists Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, so they they uh, yeah, because I think there. I wonder if there is team and team cycling. Cycling um, uh, indoor. Mm. Cycling yeah, indoor. yeah, the indoor t- cycling thing where they. Um, yeah, they, I've seen they, that. They they run a, a race. Uh, I think it's relay a relay race. Yeah, yeah. I, well, usually we'll we'll call that a relay race. Let, let me let's Google this real quick. Um, uh, let's first of all let's just type in team cycling and see if we can find that. In yeah, teams. So these are the teams. Is there a team cycling race? Let's see. I think in the Olympic Games they run by by a team. By teams, by nations. Yeah, I think they this one. Right. 
four or five uh, cyclists, uh -huh. and it's the cycling indoor. Right? I don't know the exactly name, mm -hmm. but it's very funny the the competition. Mm -hmm. do, do you see this picture that I have up? Yes. I think that's what you're talking about, but I'm not actually sure. The British cycling team shows skill and high technology gear. Um, yeah, but I think this is what you're talking about, and I haven't really watched. I don't watch cycling all that much, so. I I think I I believe that this this kind of sport is in the Olympic Games because uh, in Spain there are many world champion in this in this in this kind of sport. Uh huh. Okay. In Mallorca, in Mallorca's island. Uh huh. There are. Um, very famous uh, runner. Mm, okay. Yeah. No. It, are when you guys have when the Olympics happen in your country, are is that what everybody talks about? Do you guys hear much about the Olympics? Mm, yeah. Oh, yes. A lot. Of, a lot of broadcasting from the Olympic Games on TV uh -huh. and on the internet. Uh huh. And the the sport I think the sports bar are the sports bar full full, full of Olympics. Yeah, but uh, current uh, kind of report of Olympic game focus on the how ma how many medals, <laughs> especially the Japanese, uh, you know, how many medals Japanese got. I mean, such kind of report is not so interesting to me. They don't actually talk about the quality of the game or just you know losing or winning or. Especially that kind of very nationalistic thing on this. Yeah. 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 Here in my region, we are always mm, asking for the Olympic, the Winter Olympic Games for for us, mm -hmm. but never we get. <laughs> well, so we, we are, never we never get. We never get. We are always uh, saying I, we want the Olim the Winter Olympic Games, but we we never get. Really? For the <laughs> is is that because are, I mean is is well you guys have mountains in Spain, so you might have you get snow in parts of Spain, right? Yes, I live in the north of Spain. We have uh, the biggest uh, ski station of Spain. Very near here, and uh, at 200, 200 kilometers mm -hmm. for Miguel. Is the yeah. is the name of the of the this this uh, station? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so so two hundred so two hundred meters. Two hundred kilometers from my city. I live uh -huh. in Zaragoza, in the north of Spain. Uh -huh. between Madrid and Barcelona. Uh -huh. and we are always uh, asking for the Olympic Games. Uh. <laughs> for Haka. I don't know if you know this, this city. Uh -huh. It's okay. a, a small city in Aragon, in the, the north of Spain, then the south of France, mm -hmm. in the Pyrenees. Yeah, so so basically they're, they are actually putting in a bid Putting in a bid for the Olympics, but they haven't been able to get, to get far yet. Yes. Okay. We yeah. envy a lot of Sapporo. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys even know where the Olympics are going to be the next time? I don't next know. Time Brazil. Is it Brazil? Yeah. In, in Rio or where? Uh, maybe Rio or Sao Paulo, or maybe the stadium, you know, maybe. The whole country could be the the Olympic okay. game. Olymp uh, yeah, will be held some uh -huh. several cities in Brazil, I guess. Okay, let's Rio 2016. Okay, yeah, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they are not finished like in football, world champion. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> what, what, have they done the World Cup? Yes, I I saw the World Cup, and this is a great time for Germany, not for Brazil. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, well, it, it'll be interesting. It, you know, it's kind of tempting to, to to save my money and try to go down for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have to ask my my next, the Brazilian students, because there, there's a lot of people from Brazil here on Verbling. Um, mm -hmm. I'll have to ask them if there's a lot of, uh, if people have started to prepare yet. Because I think, wasn't it the Beijing Olympics that even uh, senior citizens were practicing studying English to prepare for the Olympics? Did you guys know that? I th uh, it happened to the yeah former Olympic Tokyo long time ago. In, yeah. in, oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I've I've heard of that. Yeah. And people who can speak English, uh, you know, kind of uh, show their how can I say? It? Yeah. Plate or something on the on the arm uh -huh. that shows uh, they can speak English. Oh, so they can help the tourists. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Well, thank you so much for your participation in this class. Um, if you ha I don't already know, you can uh, get the, um, oh, bear with me. Um, you can actually get, uh, we'll type in this, and you can get uh, the PDF right here, and you can get the answers and everything for that. I just went ahead and copied and pasted it into a, a, a Word doc so it looks good. So my next class is starting right now, and it's on characters and feelings. So uh, I hope to see you at another time, and I hope you learned some new words and got a chance to practice. So thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks. Thank Bye. Thank you very much. See you. Bye.